if I had the money, I'd be getting one of these. My favourite converter, which is Nuts RV. You see, on this metro line, they try and send you insane with these bells. Included. I think this is my favourite. This is definitely my favourite so far. This van has so many different styles using the wooden blocks. You can have like indoor table, flat for the bed, desk, desk station. area. So it's a glorified. I mean, this isn't even all of it, and then you can take it outside. It's a glorified Lego. Build your own Lego every time. And it's got an it looks. It's cool, like. Those tyres and the colour, it's very cool. And it's all wooden, so it feels very natural. That looks like aircraft as well. And then you've got all these electric. It's a really neat idea, actually. These are all cubes that move into different layouts. It's cool. Never seen anything like it. It's very smart. And you've got the window. Yeah, I was thinking. There's a back window as well. Yeah. Seems so might be a bit across the phone. Oh, and this folds down to have a little table as well. Oh, yeah, and there's a little table down here too. We have two beds where you could have like sitting on the floor and working. Do you accept pay monthly? It's just endless vans to look at. Three million. Every wagon. the money I'd be getting one of these. It's got a shower and a toilet in the back. And then you've got the bent and the bed that falls out the top. But the roof goes extremely high and I guess the, you can get a second bed in the fold out bit. But that bathroom. I mean who would have thought you could get a bathroom on a 4x4? Because that's what it is. It's an SUV 4x4 with like this camper van built on the back. If I had money, that's what I'd get. Look at those. Go and get stuck in the mud in that. It seems like Japan is the same as Europe. Like when Covid happened, everyone's just gone wild for like camping and vans. I also think there's a lot of people in Japan who want to travel with their dogs and this allows them to. I mean, coming here and seeing how many dogs there are just shows. And there's people with like, as we said before, like five dogs. Like there's no way you can handle <laughs> that in hotels yeah. or things like that. It's just, and having them in this one space, like when we stayed at the cow farm, yeah, they, they had were, two douchers and they, they were had three. three and they were causing a riot. They were because they, they're in their caravan in yeah. this instance. They can't be was, told off. <laughs> they can just go in and, you know, yeah. let loose. I like the look of this one. I like the green. Doesn't look. 
I think that's probably my favourite out of all of them. Oh, there's no door on this side. I think that's my favourite out of all of them. Yeah, but it's priced to it's priced yeah. to match the van on its own is like expensive anyway. And look got, at those tires. They've got the Goodrich type, the BFGs. They yeah, look so and good. And Victron Energy, they're really good electrical gunboy. It's like bunk beds. This is really cool. This is sort of like how I've wanted motorhome makers in the UK to actually design their van, yeah, like this. Stylish, not tacky. Yeah. My favourite converter, which is Nuts RV. <laughs> Let's go and check them out. Nuts. Nuts for tuna. I need some nuts for tuna and I need that bag. I'm surprised that there's so many, I mean, you know, camping you'd think dogs would be allowed, but there's so many. There's like, a crazy trying. amount of dogs here. And then the people that have dogs here, they don't just have one, two, they're like five. In a pram. Uh, all in one pram. <laughs> so how does one get a nuts bag for tuna? So this would be Percy's house. It's a little doggy room. Oh yeah, it's also got an internal door hatch. here. Yeah. So you can you can go through there. It's really weird to see an aircon unit in a motorhome. It's probably quite common in America, but in Europe yeah. you don't really see that. What's the bathroom look like? Is there a shower? Oh so it's actually empty. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Oh. But that would be, I'm sure that maybe it's like an add-on. It's just like a sort of standard motorhome type yeah. layout. And like, like domestic sink, like this is the exact sink we used in our conversion. This bed looks even bigger than a double bed. Yeah. Like when it can fold out. But the, the finishing touch is quite nice in it actually. It doesn't look mm. tacky. So you've got two double beds. This is the one at the back too. This is very comfortable, like that's a proper thick mattress. And the cab looks really comfortable. I'm still trying to work out how to get that bag. Should I just fill it in English and just yeah, hope for the best? Yeah, that desperate for it. Look, look at this woman, she's, 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 she's got, got a nuts bag, bag and she's happy. <laughs> this has got like a really heavy duty electric setup. Huh? This goes underneath the bed. Oh wow. <laughs> what the storage is on, this, on these batteries? Like, wow, that's a lot of big. batteries and stuff. That's what we need. Oh, 100 amps. It's not that big, really. Oh, it just takes up a lot of room. It just takes up a lot. What are you doing? Oh, you've got microwave, TV, tables. You've got a lot of stuff going on in this one. And an aircon. I feel like that would be nice to have. Oh, look, Dom's just uh, raving about his nuts bag. These nuts? So this is like another one that we really liked. I mean, okay, the front isn't like the most prettiest thing in the world. Well, it's just your standard to highest, you know, it's very common in Asia, these bags. Colour scheme is good, isn't it? Yeah, I like the colour of the outside, this sort of yellowy colour, uh, but also the green inside. But it just feels really like homely and nice, nicely done. We've got double seats, table, kitchen space. You can have the bed out and the sofa at the same time. It looks comfortable yet functional. So like this, I'm guessing this, well I'm assuming this flips so you can have its passengers. This one's quite nice. Very functional. We've got the, the, the table with the four chairs and the bed in the back. The Look, it looks like that table runs across that whole row there, so you can move it where you sort of like. On the thing, it says that that turns into double bed too, so you can yeah. have four people sleep. 
There's a lot of storage as well at the top. And, and above the car. Yeah, they've, they've done that well. I like the colour of the van. That's a cool looking van. That is tiny. Look at the little bubble window. There, let me see. It's very similar size to our one, but then it's the layout. The layout mm. enables for a kitchen. Uh, I'm surprised he fits in it. <laughs> Trying to get his arse back out. <laughs> Well, it's not. If you're of a certain shape, <laughs> certain height. <laughs> Quite much. a long step to get in. Yeah. It's pretty well done. It's got a microwave table and lots of storage. But then, weirdly, I think our one has more storage. Because the chairs don't really have much room under them. You know, it's got the microwave and the table, but I think the one fridge. we've got, with the layout, we've got more storage. Yeah, it's like the fridge there takes up half the back. Well, we've got storage under the back, on the ceiling. Mm. Here, I don't know, that. I feel like it's missing the... No, I feel a lot more claustrophobic, especially at the back here, with all this. It's the microwave, it's just, you know, yeah. a bit much. It's literally the same car as we've got. It looks very funky. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. Ten Imagine Dom in the driver's seat of that. Or Percy. Where did you see that come through? I like how they have these little portholes on all of them. Just kind of cute. Well, it's a bit like Love It, yeah. It's like an ice cream mint green kind of combo going on. To be honest, for the size, I mean, you've got a bed up there that slides out in the roof tent. It's been well thought out. Is that a microwave? No, that's just air pod you got. Oh. The heating. So look, you've got all the batteries, so it must have a little power. What's that? That must be a sink or something. Fridge. Oh. I've never seen a fridge like that. The latest game at Nagoya Camping Fair. How many bags can we get? We're on two. Bonus points for free. Look at these dogs. Oh my god, he's massive. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you see what I mean about Japanese people love their dogs? Like, there is an insane amount of dogs here. <laughs> Those dogs are freaking massive. Oh, look, Hands down, oh, look, like up. the biggest dog I've ever seen. I, mean, I love oh it. Oh my god, he's jumping up. Look, look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh, I kissy, love kissy, it. Kissy, kissy, I want kissy. one. Oh wow, look at this thing. It's the, bag. It's it's the bag. mini Bot B. Mini Bot B. What a name. And Mystic Mini. Mini Bot B. It's got quite a big pot top. A little outdoor table. <laughs> Have a look. You got a little step up. Oh right, okay. So you've got a big big bench area. And then a bed at the top. It looks like it's definitely a double bed, but quite a small double bed. Tell you, this looks like an 80s RV, like American RV, but then shrunk in size. Yeah. Right. With the body. It's still got, still got the sink in that, so. It's, it's another mystic. It definitely has the feel of like an 80s kind of mm. American camper van. The old like teak tip steering wheel, that's yeah. a really like 80s, 90s thing. But then it's on like a K car. <laughs> Well, it's actually, it's almost like a K pickup. Yeah, a K pickup. So this is just the standard pickup, and then they just pop this over the top. Yeah. I can't work out if I hate it or love it. 
If you watch the Endless Adventure, you'll definitely get vibes of their van from this. It's like a very American looking, really unique, like 80s vibe on like a <laughs> very modern truck. <laughs> It's not something I would have expected to see in a Japanese car, like car camping show. But then it's just sort of very box standard motorhome kind of interior. But it looks more traditional, like design. Yeah, the darker wood. Yeah. It feels very 80s. What you've got? Yeah. Big garage area. Not cheap though, but it's big. Oh, look at that baby. Beautiful. Oh, there's. there's Dogs in the buggy over there. So many dogs. Sorry? I was always just looking at the dogs. Look, this one gives me ice cream van vibes. They like the ice cream van sort of go to colours. There's another little porthole. They love them. Imagine, imagine me outside that oh. porthole. So. <laughs> Doesn't this look like an ice cream van? Like if you were in there. Yeah. And again, look, the teak again. I haven't seen that since oh, the night. Yeah. That's why when you look in, you think this is an old vehicle, but it isn't. It's just that design. They must just like the style. When you're looking here, it's quite dark. It's quite a good layout. I mean, you've got the kitchen at the back. The aircon unit. That must be a bathroom in there as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That dog did not like me. I, I think he didn't like the camera. It's the squad. <laughs> right, now this looks like the one we were going to rent. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> 590? <laughs> it's very stylized. Oh, it's very similar to the K car layout. Wait, is it Fiat? No, it's no, it says flat. it says Fiat. Flat. It's like it's a just, fake Fiat. It's just a cut of fake car. <laughs> no, you just stick it on your drive. Goals. <laughs> There's a lot of very samey ones, but these these are pretty unique. They're called comfy, 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 hard car, comfy and warm. I mean, what else you want? <laughs> warm you wanna be comfy, comfy, wanna be warm. Yeah. So yeah, these are pretty cool looking. It's a K car kind of thing again. Looks very, it's very army, similar sort of. Very um, army green, you know, black trim. This one looks pretty cool too. I think they're relatively similar. We've got all the pegs similar to what we have. Oh, it's got a sink. Oh, I'll give it that. Welcome, welcome to van life. Our favourite is the trailer. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, that must sit down into, into a, a yeah. Side table, even. This is pretty good because you've got the bed. Hmm. Oh, I quite like this one actually. Oh, this must be the thing. This is. 
There is literally endless camper vans here. You've got motorhomes, caravans, K-cars, airstreams. You got everything. And uh, we've been walking around for about three hours, to be honest. And I can't show you much more. So um, hopefully you got a bit of a glimpse of what you can buy here. Um, it's and been it's very enlightening, I think, mm. coming here. Okay. Not just COVID, I think it's definitely the dog thing. I, there, there has to be hundreds of dogs here. I've never seen so many dogs in my life. So, yeah. So that's always a way. <laughs> Camping fair. See you on the next one. <laughs> Anything, I think my favourite is in the car park. <laughs> Are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling worn out? Well, the relax wagon's for you. I don't and think you're locked. allowed to open it. And it's locked. Come on. It's not that, it's not that 